Hello, everybody. So this is this week's finds. Some of these were local auctions, and some of these were eBay. So I got this in a New Brunswick auction. I'm kind of disappointed because it should have a big knife, and it just has this loose little knife. But it's 70 some years old, so I guess you can't really expect too much. But I wish they would have included that information. This is really cool. This is a tin type with an early automobile. And we have this man here of glasses. And then we have a lady there, but you can't see her because there's like ink or something. And then we have this young cowboy looking fella. But that automobile looks friggin' cool. This is like a 1920s kind of photo album. It's empty, but it won't be forever because I'll probably put things in there. So this is it's a little envelope. I'm not exactly sure which war this is. I have to look at it. But it's there's French. So these are all cemeteries. That's kind of staggering the amount of headstones. These are freshwater pearls. So they aren't round. They're kind of like, almost like a chicken nugget kind of shape. This pen needs some repair, I guess. This one, I think, is going to be my new favorite pen. It's made in Italy. It's Bakelite plastic. So is this one, I think. This, I thought it was going to be bigger, but it's actually really small. I don't think it's military, because military always had, like, the leather on it. Could be maritime, or it could be, like, a toy. I don't know. It's got big, light plastic in here. Now, this is a 1950s Mickey Mouse puppet. It's a hand puppet. It's in really good shape. And his, the face on that, like, that's just an older looking Mickey for sure. And then, of course, there's Pinocchio. He's going to be for sale. He's in phenomenal condition, too. And Jimity. He's in a little bit rough condition, but pretty good for the age, I'd say. The fact that they still have the tag on it is kind of cool. Jiminy Cricket. 